A lot of legal terms have been thrown around while Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh has been in the Senate Judiciary Committee hot seat. Settled law. Settled law of the land. Settled precedent. 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 Stare decisis. And Stare decisis. Ginsburg principle. Ginsburg. Committee confidential. It's committee confidential. Committee confidential. To make sense of all this legal jargon, here is a guide to some of the most used buzzwords and phrases from the hearing. Democrats grilled Kavanaugh about his use of the term settled law, trying to get inside of his head on Roe v. Wade. It's been reported that you have said that Roe is now settled law. The first question I have of you is what do you mean by settled law? Settled law a determination that gives judges less booger room to turn against an already established or settled law. Senator, I um, said that it's settled as a precedent of the Supreme Court entitled to respect under principles of stare decisis. Could I interrupt you to say, since you mentioned stare decisis, and I sat on nine of these hearings, and when the subject comes up, the person says, I will follow stare decisis. Stare decisis. The legal doctrine that demands judges favor upholding rulings in prior cases that have been reaffirmed over the years. Planned Parenthood versus Casey reaffirmed Roe and did so by considering the stare decisis factors. So Casey now becomes a precedent on precedent. Precedent. Rulings so ingrained in the fabric of the American law that overturning them would be virtually unthinkable. A judge must interpret the Constitution as written, informed by history and tradition and precedent. Precedent is not just a judicial policy. It's sometimes stated that it's just a policy. Precedent comes right from Article Three of the Constitution. But as you know, it's uh, inappropriate for a nominee to, to uh, answer those questions. And this refers to Judge Ginsburg the Ginsburg Principle, the unwritten rule that judicial nominees lean on during confirmation proceedings to avoid declaring how they might vote on issues they could face in the courtroom. Its namesake, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, said during her confirmation hearing in 1993 that she didn't want to preview her rulings on certain subjects by expressing her opinions. As Justice Ginsburg said, no hints, no forecasts, no previews. Can a sitting president be required to respond to a subpoena? So that's a hypothetical question, and I think going with the Justice Ginsburg principle, which I can't give you an answer on that hypothetical question. There were 860 documents designated as committee confidential. Committee confidential. That's the designation that the Judiciary Committee uses to keep thousands of documents private rather than releasing them to the public. To get what had been previously committee confidential released to the public. Do you personally have any objections to the release of the documents? Senator, I'm not going to take a position. That's, a, in my view, a decision for the committee.